guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 4 of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I just should have crap with some water. I'm thirsty. Crap on my Dog, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony. Good, oh my god. So is Misaki just gonna be there? Well, can't turn back now. Mm-hmm. Huh? Water? That is a long way down, holy shit. <laughs> Back up, Cody. Okay, that's gotta be my side. Oh, she's pretty. I mean, even though we finally get to see her instead of being in the darkness. Right? Are you serious, woman?
some straight up nightmare fuel right there. So, um, what are you going to do? What'd you do, kill him? They're all the way at the... Oh! Oh, shit. Uh. Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean you can't? Well, we're screwed. Yeah. Yeah, because of course he kind of seems the easiest. <laughs> what are you? Purgatory. You're literally going to throw her down there? <laughs> and you want her to go down there by herself? Uh-huh. Good luck, Nene. Uh, she's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Hot 
Okay, you have to look. Oh. Please tell me you ain't kill him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we all have. <laughs> over and over again. About the stairs. Oh! Let me stop you with the teacher. That's what she's been doing. Oh, shit, man. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Of course she did. Yeah, she's still doing it, you know.
the no the picture or even the diary oh the scissors too Okay, Nene, hurry up. No shit. I get that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hurry. So she just fucking did. What the fuck? I'm thinking like maybe her soul will go to heaven or something. But damn. That's fucked up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my god. I She was already done. Oh. Oh. Yeah, where are you Damn. <laughs> okay, bye.
Ja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God damn, you are fine as fuck. bad for him, but he'll be okay in the morning. But so <laughs> Oh my god, Yako is so fucking adorable and precious. Jesus Christ, I wasn't ready for that in this episode to know that she was a fucking Oh my god. My heart, oh my god. Mm -mm. That fucking hurt. Jesus Christ. I'm trying not to cry. That was so fucking precious. Oh my god. But I get the feeling. I get that back. I get how she felt. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I just wasn't expecting that in this episode. I was like, I was expecting that something. I I don't know. I thought she was the one who killed him. And I was like, okay, but that kind of would, that would have made sense. But no, that he died. There was an accident. And they never saw each other again. Of course, she just wanted to make his own, her own Yusaki. I get that. You know, yeah, you want to go ahead and make your own Frankenstein of a man? Because, you know, you need some man. I get that feeling and stuff. But, oh, my God. You just talk about the Hanukkah kids, Nene. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I was on the lips. It was on the cheeks. It was so fucking cute. It was just so fucking cute. The confession thing. Okay, so then, all right, I feel like I know what's gonna happen across the next week. Somebody is gonna have a crush on somebody and they're gonna go to that tree to confess, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the girl and the guy, of course, the bad guys, of course, what else could they be? Um, she's the girl who's been in the past three episodes who does like her little podcast of talking about each and every other spirit that we're about to go against the following week. She didn't do anything this week because of course for reasons I'm guessing why. Um but I got a lot of questions about both of them. They they are both mysterious as hell and I'm hoping that we do get a backstory on them and what their issues or their problems is. And I'm guessing we won't see that until this is for uh seven maybe i'm not 100 percent sure because these are all just guesses for me i do have like kind of one interesting thing and i've been thinking about this ever since i started watching this show and i've been looking at this opening like a bazillion times over and over again hanukkah we really technically yeah, technically we kind of know how hanukkah died so every single time when i watch the opening and we get to the point where hanukkah is like literally bdsm <laughs> rope bound and somebody is coming towards his ear about the bite his ear, you know, BDSM, dominant sub, shit like that. I feel like, and don't tell me if I'm right on this. I want to wait. And this is just like my little theory because I got nothing to back on this. Uh, just the things that I see from this opening. I feel like he has a brother. Maybe a twin brother who looks just like him. And, um... His brother accidentally killed him or something like that. I don't know. Haven't read the manga. It's just from what that little big that scene, that little five second clip, maybe about, yeah, one to five second clip of that. And just the fact is it's the same hat and everything and the same outline of a figure that looked exactly like Hanako. That's the only thing that I can really fall back on. But yes, 
please don't spoil me on anything. I want to find out on my own if I'm right. I mean, if you do end up spoiling me on, like, if I am right about it, just keep pressing that goddamn enter button so it could be read more. And so whenever we get to a part where I find out, then I'll come back to episode four's reaction. Look in the comments, figure it out from there. And it just, you know, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode four of Twilight About Hanako Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. Bye, guys. Thank you.